Hey everybody, it's the Angry Honey Badger here, and today I'm bringing you a walkthrough video on how to put custom ringtones onto your Windows 7.5 slash Mango update for a Windows phone. Um, you can't really do this in a simple drag and drop format. It's not tough, but you actually have to be careful with how you're doing this. There's not a there's kind of a backdoor method to be able to actually do this the right way, or at least to have custom ringtones that you want. First things we need to know are that the formats recognized for this are MP3 and WMA formats. Those are the only two. The clip cannot be longer than 40 seconds in length. So we're going to have to trim probably a song if that's what we're thinking. And then um, it cannot be over one megabyte. But that shouldn't be a problem because if it's less than 40 seconds and we don't export under any large um, music file size, we should be under that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open up um, what I'm going to edit with, and I'm going to edit in Adobe Premiere. It's just something I know how to use because that's how I make all my videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through my music real quick, and I'm going to skip ahead here because you don't need to see me try to find my file. But I'm going to get my file, and I'm going to you know open it up, and I'm going to have it. Um, I'm going to edit you know to less than 40 seconds because that's just one of the rules with how this is going to work on the phone. Um, so I'm going to just find the specific part in the song that I want. It's just you know, a short little jam session from a song by Mastodon. So I'm just going to get that all spaced out and trimmed on how I want it. So I'm going to get that all worked out. So the next thing we do is after you get it all trimmed, you're just going to drop it down into the lower part of the Adobe um, software right there. And uh, it's, it's good from there. Next, we're just going to export it as media and I'm gonna export it as an mp3 for the format which um, being under 40 seconds in Adobe it's not gonna have a problem with the quality you'll be under one megabyte so that'll be good so just get it to import it should only take a second it shouldn't take long and after we get this exported um, the next thing I have to do at least it's gonna export it into a different folder for me I'll go ahead and save it too real quick but it's gonna export it as a different folder for me um, or in a different folder. I gotta move it into a folder that my Zune software then recognizes. So I'm just gonna move it over real quick. Not a big issue, just make sure I do this correctly so I have it in the right spot for Zune software to recognize it because the next part we're gonna be going over is in the Zune software. Um, what you have to do in there for the phone to recognize the ringtone. So I put it in that folder. I'm going to rename it real quick, um, Mastodon, just so I know what it is, or named-wise, so I can find it easily. But when I open my Zune software, it should just be as the current uh, or newest thing um, imported into the library. So I'll open that, and I'll go back to Artists, and as you can see, it's right there. It is the newest thing, and yep, it does play. I'm not going to have any problems there. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over into playlists and I'm going to create a new playlist and I'm going to call it ringtone just for the sake of knowing what it is. So call it ringtone, hit OK. And then I'm going to jump ahead here for just a second. I dragged my clip in there. So drag your clip into ringtone. The next thing I'm going to do, and I'm just checking to see if there is a category and there isn't on uh, Zoom software. So you're going to go back to your clip real quick and you're going to go to edit because you can change all the information under here and you can go ahead and type whatever you want for it to recognize I'm just gonna type Mastodon in for artists and song maybe I'm just gonna you know so I can find on the phone so the phone has a name for something so I'll know what I'm looking for and then after you get it named what you want change the genre this is a key thing change the genre to ringtone that's what the phone will recognize so after you hit OK and you finish it, um, it should be fine. Go ahead and sync that then to your phone. I think I've dragged another copy just to make sure I get it, but into that playlist. So there's two in there now. So it should have updated automatically. But then go ahead and sync that to your phone. And my phone just updated because I had already tried to sync it once before. So those are the key steps. So sync it to your phone. And there it goes, and that's only going to take a second for it to do. And then the next thing we're going to do is see if this actually worked. Alright, so my phone. I'm going to unplug it, or unsync it. I'm going to just go ahead and slide off that like, la, uh, 
tongue tied lock screen and I'm going to go over to settings which are going to be down at the bottom on the, my right side screen so uh, under settings and you can see I already have it selected because I tried it already but right there under ringtones ringtone it'll be at the very top under custom I'm going to hit play it'll be kind of tough to hear because of sound but you can hear that it's playing and that's how it works I don't know how many you can make but it worked fine for me just make sure you get those uh, key steps in um, so that's how you do custom ringtones guys um, if you have any questions leave a comment or send me a message and I'll be glad to answer it so uh, thanks for watching guys